Hello, Lee Zerfus. Today we're going to be talking about the Yoki Data ProColor 510DW. There's three pieces to this equipment. We've got the engine itself. We've got the feeder, which makes this awfully unique in the fact that it's a web-fed device. The last piece that comes in is the rewinder that requires some minor assembly. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver and about a half hour to 45 minutes worth of time. Make sure that you follow the directions step by step and you'll have no problem walking yourself through the installation. There's several components to the front piece of this. We'll talk about the consumables for a couple minutes here. This is an LED based technology. There's no laser. We're getting 50 to 60,000 hours worth of the LEDs. There's the LED itself. We never want to touch that. We've got four toner cartridges, cyan, magenta, yellow, black, and they are part of the imaging drum itself, but what's unique about this printer is that each one of these pieces is unlockable to where as we want we can just replace the toner or the drum, the fuser itself or the transfer belt at it recommended duty cycles. The third component or the last component is the fuser. It's rated for about 100,000 impressions. Locks into place. If I pop the cover up, you'll see below here, here's the transfer belt. And these are the consumables to the piece, to the engine itself. Loading media is as simple as this. We have our media on a three inch core. Slides onto the machine. We're gonna back it up all, to, all the way to the rear guide. Loading media. There are two yellow tabs that we're gonna press down. That opens up the door. Second thing we're going to do is open up the clear panel where the sensors are at. The eyes open outward. We're going to pull the media through the opening and we're going to stage it right at the eyes here. Close the eyes. Doors. Door. At this point we're going to load the media. It's cutting the media. I'm going to open the door. This ensures a nice clean cut feeding into the machine. Close the door. Close the door. Again, the safety locks. And now we'll hit done. The media is now loaded. As we talk about media, right now there's about 80 to 90 pre-qualified medias that are on uh, pre-converted stock. There's 46 processes or 46 things that are checked to ensure that the temperature and the running speed is correct and it correlates to the proper media. In this case here, we've got a three across four by six label. It's a semi matte stock. The first step that we need to do is load it into the media manager itself so that the device recognizes what media is going into the machine. From that point there, as we load the media on the control panel on the side, it's going to acknowledge that media and the same media that's called up in your media manager as well as on the control panel of the feeder itself are going to match one another. That's going to ensure that the speed and temperature is correct as we image the job through. So at this point we've released the job from the queue. The data is arriving here at the console. It's being processed. Things we're considering during this uh, warm-up period is getting the fuser nice and warm, getting the speed adjusted, going through the color calibration cycle. You're hearing the feeder starting to go. It's starting to print. And we're off to the races. The feeder allows two directions. We can go forward or backward depending on how you're winding runs at the same speed as what the engine is. We've got a dancer bar controlling tension. And when the job's done, we're ready to go.